hours. There's a slotted window which is 38 by 22 mm. Uh, they say this window is enough for ligation and mucopexy both. Oh, okay. the, the equipment that I use has a different probe for mucopexy. Okay. This this is enough for mucopexy and ligation both. It, yes. the, this is a detachable portion, so you can do a mucopexy right up to the anal verge, which I usually don't do. I if I perform a mucopexy, it is up to the dentate line. The diameter of this scope is 34 mm. Uh, the machine, the base unit, if you can come here, uh, this machine has something different than what I use. This has four modes. There is a continuous wave, a pulse wave, a M wave and M plus P W wave. What I learned from the vendor is that the continuous wave identifies any sounds in the anal and the perianal region. So if there is a vessel which is supplying to rectum, vagina, every sound would be identified by this. So once you identify the vessels, particularly when we move the endoscope in the superior hemorrhoidal artery branches locations 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11, then we go to the pulse wave mode and identify the depth this particular mode gives you the depth of the vessel. Any vessel which is deeper than 13 mm has not to be ligated. The submucosa vessels that lie in the submucosa are expected to be anything between 0 and 12 mm. And this machine identifies vessels up to 25 mm. So they have added a pulse wave mode and any vessel below uh, about 13 mm we have to just leave it aside. The M mode gives you a color display of the flow to and away from the ultrasound sensor. And the M plus PW it gives you an audio plus a color display uh, on this screen. There is an option to print the report. So we will start with the procedure. First we will map the vessels and then we will ligate one by one. Uh, Ajay, uh, uh, there is a separate suture for doing heart, right? Yes, I will show you this suture. Uh, if you can hold this suture. Uh, so some what, what is the maximum depth to which this suture will go? Uh, usually see uh, Pradeepji. This suture we ah, Pradeep, this suture I got it designed in 2003 yes. by Sentinel and they have coded it as PNW602AK. Uh, this comes as Ajit Kukreja's suture. Uh, it is a 27 mm. Thank you. 27 mm five circle round body needle. It is a heavy needle and the, the length is 90 cm. Uh, I found that 120 cm, the people which came out with 120 cm, the uh, suture was getting entangled. So we went up to 90 cm and one file was enough for six ligatures. Uh, the specific thing is the needle. It is 27 mm and a heavy round body needle. So up to what? Depth of the tissue. Can it uh, include that uh, vessel which you said? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, 25 millimeter. Exactly. It, uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, even if you blindly do see, there are people who uh, do the finger guided ligation. Our very good friend Kamalji, if you see him doing the digital ligation. I so, do the same. Uh, so they all use the uh, same type of suture from different companies. They all have 27 mm 5 circle round body needle and it is good enough to penetrate uh, to the depth where the submucosal vessels are ligated uh, even without the Doppler. Uh, so we will start with the procedure. Uh, one, one thing again 
uh, which uh, you people have seen me in different workshop i perform the procedure in the left lateral position anesthesia what anesthesia anesthesia is saddle block in my private i i, I use chloroquine but uh, most of the people here they use either lignocaine or sensor cane uh, put on the machine camera we start in a reverse fashion from 11 o'clock so tell them what they see in the machine or what the rear camera behind the camera first one to the anterior one and then the body most of the people say it is difficult ligating in the roof of the proctoscope but uh, once you perform say some 10 12 procedures it's easier performing it in a uh, left lateral lithotomy or even in jack knife position you you have to identify the optimum sound first this is the continuous mode uh, we identified the pulsation now now we'll go for the depth shift to the pw mode so the the depth that we are getting is 7 mm just just wait we we just need to um, identify the best sound and the best depth the best sound that we are getting is at 5 mm so it's okay to ligate this vessel if if this depth is more than 13 mm so we need to leave this vessel just hold this out out outside the submucous plane Can I have the foil? Oh, middle holder. See that you don't move the scope. Pull, pull. Let's have the other. Come back. Can you tell the audio visual people to get the second camera also in your case so that one uh, camera is on the operating screen? Is it the different audio visual people? No. Uh, so we can. Pradeep, they say that the wiring and cabling is uh, done in such a way that they cannot move the. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Got it. So Totally got different. Uh, uh, different OT. See, this is how. I hold the needle when sir, I like it. Move the camera, camera to your side. Move the camera here. When when I like it in the roof, the needle position is this way, and when I like it in the floor of the proctoscope, the needle is this way. As the move the camera is fine. Uh, uh, is everything fine with the vision? Uh, can can you focus inside? Yeah, just wait a second. If if you could see see the pile mass inside. Hold. we go right up to the depth of the window okay take the bite uh one thing which i always advise everyone is uh, take care the tip of the needle doesn't get lost in the mucosa because there have been instances where the needle gets lost inside 
and then it becomes difficult to identify out the tip of the needle so if if the chunk is big enough uh, take another artery forcep or a needle holder hold the tip by the other end and then release the base of the needle Any special needle holder for this or any slim straight needle holder? Any slim straight would do but yeah. the company provides two sets of needle holder. Okay. But we are not seeing anything. Right? So two pipes, See, right? Huh. The pulsation would disappear once you pull this thread. Right. See. Uh, Earlier when I started this in uh, 2003 so we, we were always concerned because uh, the display and everything wasn't there there was only audio signal so we were always concerned about the audio uh, and uh, then I had a talk with one of the pioneers Dr. Norman Sohn so he said that when you ligate the vessel the mucosa crumbles so any deeper smaller vessel the not pusher this is a not pusher uh, it it's like the one you use in laparoscopy just slide the knot right up to the end of the uh, window of the proctoscope you may not be able to visualize nor do i try to visualize uh, because uh, if, if you apply extra pressure, it causes trauma on the mucosa. So I slide one of the ends of or one of the arms of the suture and let it go right up to the window. Yes. Now see with if you can see inside there is a chunk of mucosa so in these type of patients we do a running mucopexy along with so that ha, rar, so that this doesn't prolapse out give me the proctoscope uh, every 5 mm one right up to the dentate line no, first time when you the, uh, two knots two knots oh. huh. so now you are doing the mucopexy ah, i am doing the mucopexy just hold this give me a close the earlier generation instrument that was a different proctoscope for e e Yes, we, we used to do a ligation and then change the proctoscope. And you had to call rotating that to do a RAR. Yes, yes. And I think it had a public type of slot. So that was the only way to get the don't, don't, don't move the scope. See, as I said, see, I, I, I did leave the needle and the tip gets lost so uh, I do a reverse position bring out the needle and then reintroduce another thing that is always important is your assistant because uh, you need to keep holding the proctoscope in the same position. Short me. Short. Uh, can huh. we apply a little, can we tell the assistant to follow the course of the and just up the key and then we run and it may fly the curve? Yes, it does, but because they are not able to visualize inside, na, it, it's difficult for them them to assist you till they get trained with some 
टेन ट्वेंटी प्रोसीजर्स नहीं दे आर सिंपल रनिंग एल्स यू वोट बी एबल टू सी दिस इज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रदीप अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन वेन यू डू अ म्यूकोपेक्सी देर शुड बी नो बोस्टरिंग इफेक्ट द फर्स्ट नॉट एंड द लास्ट लिगेचर दैट यू टेक शुड बी किसिंग ईच अदर इफ देर इज अ बोस्टरिंग इफेक्ट इन द प्रोक्सीमल एंड द लास्ट सूचर then the mucosa won't drag inside we, we have to just enter the mucosa at a higher place principle of this is hemorrhoidal artery ligation so uh, you are already ligating the artery yes. but there will be some flow from the hemorrhoidal artery which is not taken care of by the yes uh, thrombosis is one of the known post operative complications of this procedure yes. uh, but the ratio is somewhere around 2 to 5% last stitch we are taking for mucopexy take line okay uh, because the vision is not very appreciable through the scope give me a boss please uh, otherwise you could see that both the knot, knots are kissing each other uh, i can draw and show you what exactly i mean uh, but you would appreciate when i talk about bowstring effect and Uh, a kissing knot the, uh, see another thing which uh, usually when we demonstrate a lot of people have this question ke even after ligation see the sound keeps on buzzing out uh, from the machine uh, but if you would have seen ke we started the ligation at 12 uh, 11 o'clock and uh, the assistant has moved the proctoscope to 12 and 1 o'clock so those are the sounds which we need not worry once you uh, uh, ligate the vessel and the sound disappears the extra sounds that come during the procedure you don't need to Uh, abolish all the sounds our concern is the six branches of superior hemorrhoidal artery scissors
So Ajit, you have taken uh, the first stitch at the apex, then you have come to the tendon sign and again you have gone back. Yes. Right. So uh, from about to down, how many bites you have taken? Three bites. I took actually four bites four from bites. Okay. Uh, about to down. Okay. And four bites going back. Huh. The return journey. Uh, re return was the simple one, one knot which opposed with the previous uh, vessel ligation knot. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What was the reading after you have finished with the arterial ligation? Earlier it was 12. Nee, it was 5, uh, uh, 5, 5 mm yeah. where we ligated. Okay. Huh. Now we will go to 9 o'clock. This is what we are doing mapping. If you could, is the sound audible of the pulsations? Yes, yes, yes. Huh. Uh, now, now you go to the PW mode and get me the best depth. Seven. Go below. Go above seven. Go to CW mode. Sir, which question answer? But not in all the videos. No, no, we, we, we two are choosy. But possibly it works exactly like PGH. Huh. Okay. Huh. So, the result would be very similar to PGH. Exactly. Don't have the equipment of PGH. I think that's another... For my, uh, I work in a corporate hospital, but we do have some patients who are in pain. You know, they are normal systemists or coming from the local municipal corporation, and they are given a very small budget. So their budget doesn't allow use of stapler. Exactly. So stapler, as you know, cost by some fifteen thousand, eighteen thousand, depending on what part you are buying. So they, the budget which is given by their uh, Place of work, uh, it's a very small budget. So we have to operate those patients with a very small budget. So those patients are using shifted technique, working very well, and uh, uh, you can definitely use it for those patients. And in medically compromised sir, sir. patients. Amara upar ka audio bhi karwa They are discussing themselves. Okay. Chal, chalo pakro. I don't. The patient neck with bleeding disorders.
એમ સી ડબલ્યુ મોડમાંથી પછી પી ડબલ્યુ મોડમાં સિગ્નલ નથી આવતું બહુ મોટા મોટા છે સાઉન્ડ તો એ પોલિશ થઈ જાય છે પણ એ વખતે પીડબ્લ્યુ મોડમાં કેમ તમારો સાઉન્ડ ના આવે એ વખતે ડબલ્યુ મોડમાં લઈ લો હવે જે સી ડબલ્યુ મોડમાં આવે છે હવે પી ડબલ્યુ મોડમાં ડેપ્થ ઓછી કરો એ જ વોલ્યુમ કેમ નથી આવતો સાઉન્ડ મેન નિપટા ક્યાં આવ્યા 